when you're doing in the fire district, first thing that you want to do is create a map for yourself. Figure out where your horizon line is and any landmark lines that are in your landscape. And then you kind of block in where the trees are roughly. Uh, you want to approach this in a different way than you do in the middle distance foliage. You are going to be very specific, but you're going to work with uh, large patches of value primarily. So rather than um, approaching texture specifically to get the texture of the leaves there, you want to get the idea that they're kind of bushy, that there's chunks of, of bright areas, chunks of dark areas, and that each tree has an overall value. The main thing that you're trying to get across is that this one tree has an overall value uh, next to this tree. So trees on the whole tend to be pretty dark. They kind of start even on the light side around four or five on the value scale and they can go all the way down to 10. Um, that and if you do that, that makes your grass and uh, your sky look fairly bright, which is what you want. So your first pass is just kind of getting some value down in patches and it doesn't really matter too much um, how differentiated they are uh, because you can come back and erase, not a big deal. So once you get through that first pass, then you're gonna kind of push the values down a little bit um, and start to be increasingly specific about the edges of trees. Um, you can get smaller and smaller patches and you can include as much detail as you want. Here in the situation that I'm drawing, I kind of have two main registers of trees. I have a row of trees on the front and then a, lar a row of larger trees in the back. So all of the trees in the back are gonna be um, sort of towards the middle value. So I'm trying to create some at atmospheric perspective. The, that means that the trees in the back are going to be darker on the light side and lighter on the dark side. And then on the third pass, I'm going to go through and I'm going to start pushing all the values down. The darks are going to start to get pretty dark, um, and that's going to leave room for any lights uh, in the air in any of the areas. And then I'm going to be very specific about certain tree trunks that I see, and I can go back in and I can erase. Use the eraser as a drawing tool to kind of make marks as well. Um, that can be really effective and can give you a lot of edge control. Um, you want to be very soft on the edges, um, and and you don't want to outline the trees because you want you want to have control over where those edges are. And if you have anything in the middle ground, if your edges are very rigid and harsh in the background, that's going to kind of pop the background forward. The other thing that you can do if there's any continuous lines behind the trees or going through the trees, you can pick up on that and kind of uh, let it drift in and out through the landscape, and that adds to the idea of overlap, which is the simplest way to create depth and is really effective in landscape as well as any other type of drawing. Um, you're going to continue to be specific about these trees and layer and layer and layer um, until you get a result that you're satisfied with.